welcome back to another episode of Dorsch Homestead Acres. Tonight I wanted to take a few minutes to bring you up to date with what we have going on on the farm. These guys, uh, this is their last evening. Tomorrow will be processing day for everyone. We have 30 birds. Hopefully uh, dressed weights will be between five to seven pounds, maybe a little higher with the roosters. They're super hungry right now. They did not get any food this evening. You don't feed chickens a good 24 hours before butchering them because you want their crops to be as empty, if not completely empty, when you butcher them because it just makes everything so much cleaner and easier. So the plan is to start at bright and early at 6 in the morning. And poor Solomon over here is sadly in the same boat. He is, this is his, his last evening too. So he's, he's no food. He didn't get any scratch this evening either. It's going to be hard to see him go but was unable to rehome him and he he just really can't go with hens so so sadly Adam will be taking care of him tomorrow cuz I won't be able to watch or help help with him all right let's take a look inside and I'll, we'll kind of go over the equipment for tomorrow all right, we are back up here at the garage. Everything is kind of a bit of a mess right now. Uh, but I'll just kind of go over with you what we plan to use tomorrow. And then we'll for sure be shooting another video tomorrow when everything is set up and the first birds are processed. So you can see how we do everything. We have... Over here next to the garbage can, uh, turkey deep fat fryer that we are going to use. We're just going to fill it with water. It'll be set on our back patio. This is going to be used to shrink wrap the birds once they're completely dressed. We have a couple of crates here that Adam will use to transport the birds from the chicken tractor. Um, over to the kill site. Uh, plan on putting about four birds per crate. We have an evisceration, sorry, an evisceration table. This hooks up to a garden hose uh, right there. And this is my station. This is where I'll be uh, gutting, cutting off legs pulling heads, that sort of thing. And let's take a walk around here. Here we have gloves, our scale uh, for weighing underneath. We have the shrink, shrink wrap bags, various tubs, totes with more tubs to put birds in. We have in here our waterproof aprons along with a pinning knife and a kill knife. The red uh, trash cans here will be filled with about 80 pounds of ice and then cold water and the plan is the birds, after they come out of the plucker, will go into one of the barrels. And then the finished, fully dressed birds will go in the other. And they'll sit in those ice baths to get their body temperature down to a safe level as quickly as possible. And we want to obviously keep the birds as cold as possible. Uh, to avoid any bacterial growth. 
And here is our scalder and our plucker. So everything will get moved outside uh, tomorrow morning and set up. And let's go take a look at the kill stand. Here is our kill stand. We'll move it up onto the blacktop and uh, concrete apron of the garage and driveway so that it just makes for cleanup a much easier surface. Underneath the cones, we will be hanging some plastic to create a uh, drip tray of sorts, and then we'll have a five gallon bucket that the blood can drain into. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.